Welcome back to our new happy learning class of mathematics for 6th standard. It's me, Shabiha with you. Hope you all watched our first part of this video class where we learned what is angle and how to measure it. So in this part, we are going to discuss about how to draw an angle and how it's named. Are you ready student? Let's start our class. As we know, for measuring an angle, we are using protractor. Let's see how we draw an angle by using protractor. Hope you all have in geometry box. Then please take it out, a protractor, a scale and a pencil. We need all of this for drawing an angle. Okay children, this is our protractor. At the end of each line, at the end of each line, there is two numbers, one below the other. These numbers are the degree measures of angle made by this line with the bottom line marked zero. When we measure angles on the right, we use bottom numbers, okay? When we measure angles on the left side, we use the topmost number. Do you get any idea? Let's make it simple. I can show you some example. Now we are going to draw a 60 degree angle. So we are going to draw a 60 degree angle. First step, make a line with a scale. After that, place the center point of the protractor on the end point at which the angle is formed. Keep the base of the protractor along with the side. Okay, now look at the protractor. We are drawing a right side angle. So we choose the bottom number. Simply focus on zero. That's it. Can you see the number 60? 60? Yes, it is. So, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So, we will make a point here. Remove the protractor, join the end point and mark the point. Now, see, we made a 60 degree angle. In the same way, let's check how to draw an angle of 125 degree. First up, make a line with a scale. After that, place the center point of the protractor here. Simply focus on 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, 110, 120 and 100, 130. What is 125? Good. It is between 120 and 130. So, we make a point here and join the end point and the marked point. So, it is the angle of 125 degree. Now, we make it a little interesting. We will try one more example. Now, I am going to draw a left side angle. Draw an angle of 80 degree. What we do? First, draw a line with a scale. After that, place the center point of the protractor on this side. Okay. I am going to draw left side angle. That way, I place the protractor here. Okay. Just to focus on zero. Where is the zero? Okay. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Mark a point here. Then remove the protractor. Then join the point, marked point and the end point. This is the angle of 80 degree. Children, we have another activity to do. We have some angles. We need to find out the measurement or degrees. Okay. First place the center point of the protractor on the vertex. Okay. 
Look at this feature. The line is passes through the number 60. So the angle is 60 degrees. Okay, the next one, place the center point of the protractor here. Then, simply focus on zero. Okay. Then, check the other line passes to which number? Yes, the number 40. So, the angle is 40 degree. And the third one, we need to place the center point of the protractor here. Keep the base along with the side. And please look at this. The line passes through the number 110. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and 110. So the angle is 110 degrees. And the fourth one, keep the center point of the protractor on the vertex. Okay. Then look at this. The line passes through. First of all, please simply focus on 0. What is the 0? Zero? 0. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The line passes through the point 50. So that left side angle is 50 degree okay children now we know how to draw an angle the next step we will see how to give name for an angle we learned this part in fifth standard are you remember anyway i will explain once more we have four angles here 60 degree, 40 degree, 110 degree and 50 degree. And also here there are some letters on the edges of the angle. We need to name it. Okay, start with the first one. You know what is this symbol? This is a symbol that we use to denote angle that we studied in 6th standard. Okay, we are going to name the first angle starting from here. Angle, this is the symbol of angle, angle A, B, C. Either we can call angle C, B, A. Likewise, what is the name of this angle? Angle E, D, F. Either we can call angle F. B, E. Okay. Then what's the name of this angle? Angle G, H, I. Angle G, H, I. Either you can call angle I, H, G. Then tell me what's the name of this angle? Yes, you are right. Angle I, K, J. Either we can call angle, angle J, K, I. Okay? These are some works from your textbook. You need to draw these figures with specified measures in your notebook. I can show you two of them for your easy understanding. Rest of two, you can do by yourself. First, make a 4 cm line. Okay? 4 cm. Then, place the center point of the protractor any of the edge. Keep the base along with the side. Okay? Then, just focus on zero. We need to mark the number 50. What is 50? Here. So, we will make a point here. Then, join the marked point and the starting point. Okay. This is the angle 50D. Okay. 
then place the center point of the protector on this side and keep the base simply focus on 0 over 0 here okay 0 10 20 30 40 50 so mark a point here then join the marked point and the end point this is 50 degree okay then next one make a 5 centimeter line this is 5 centimeter okay then place the center point of the protector here and mark the point 90 where is 90 right angle where is 90 here mark a point here and join the end point or mark the point it is 90 degree and place the center point of the protector on this side okay where is the number 30 0 10 20 30 so make a point here and draw a line passes through this point okay. this is 30 degree the remaining portions of this two diagram we need to rest Now I think all of you got an idea about drawing and naming of angle. So please practice more and more by working out like this problem from your home. It is very important part of this chapter and it is say the same is repeated in the higher classes also. So children, we are going to winding up this video class. In next class, we will meet you with another interesting part of this chapter. Till then, bye-bye. Happy learning.